After seven days of negotiations and an almost total cessation of the Magallanes region, the government of Sebastian Piñera finally reached an agreement with leaders of the area who are protesting the 16% rise in the price of gas, which is a vital resource in the area due to low temperatures in the southern portion of the country. Both sectors came to agree gas prices will only raise by 3%. The seven-day strike in the region caused millions in losses for the economy of that area, which is based on tourism. The area was closed to shipping and land transport. Foreigners were caught in the conflict by not having an open avenue for departure. The conflict began when the government announced they would eliminate a gas subsidy that has been given to the inhabitants of the region for several years, but should be suspended due to the rising fuel prices on the world market. President Piñera has announced his first cabinet reshuffle since his government took office 10 months ago, following the resignation of Defense Minister Jaime Ravinat, Andres Alamand has been appointed as his replacement. Alamand, a former senator for Los Rios region and member of political party Renovacion Nacional, has been a strong critic of the government's current position and recent low approval ratings. Popular mining minister Lawrence Goldborn will add energy to his portfolio and has been tasked with reaching a solution over the Magallanes gas dispute. In the Ministry of Labor, Evelyn Mati has taken over from Camila Merino, forcing the senator to drop her project regarding therapeutic abortion, while in the Ministry of Transport, former land executive Pedro Pablo Irazuris will replace Felipe Morandé. Musician and comedian Jorge Pedreros has been honored with the first national award for popular music for his long career in the industry. At a ceremony on Monday, President Sebastian Piñera presented Pedreros with the award describing him as often brilliant, always well-intentioned, and always leaving a positive message. In clear ill health, it was an emotional moment as Pedreros accepted the award to a rapturous applause. Also recognized for their contributions to music were Guillermo Rifo, Eloloro Campos, Seyo Mundo Vivo, Italo Pedrotti, and Horacio Duran. Another event you won't want to miss is the 9th International Book Fair in Parque Forestal. Santiago welcomes a summer of literature with the return of the 9th Parque Forestal Book Fair. The fair will run from January 18th through the 30th and will host some of the best books and authors within the natural beauty of the park. The fair can be found just a few steps from Bellas Artes Metro Station and Plaza San Juan Sebastian Bach. It's open Monday to Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and from 11.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Entrance is free. A disastrous last day at the 2011 Dakar Rally cost Chilean Francisco Chileco Lopez a podium place. El Chileco started the final stage of the endurance race with a 45-minute advantage over the fourth-place competitor and was less than 200 kilometers away from securing an unprecedented third place. But with just 22 kilometers to go, the Chilean's bike suffered a broken suspension after a jump and had to be towed to the finish line by Frenchman Alain Duclos and Italian Pablo Capetti. A gutted Lopez crossed the finish line over an hour behind the leading pack and handed over his third place position to Portuguese racer Helder Rodriguez. The winner of the 33rd Dakar was Mark Coma, a third victory for the Spaniard, while arch rival and defending champion Cyril Desprez finished second. Meanwhile in Australia, during the Australian Open tennis, there was more bad news for Chilean sport as our national tennis players failed to qualify for the Australian Open. With Fernando Gonzalez still recovering from hip surgery, all eyes were on Nicolas Massou and Paul Capdeville. Capdeville lost in the second round of qualification to Joselin Awana by a score of 4, 6, 6, 2, and 13, 15 in the final set. Nicolas Massou, ranked 188th in the world, was one match away from making the draw but felt short against lower-ranked Italian 
Marco Grugnolo, 6-1 and 6-3. This will be the first time since 2000 that an Australian Open singles main draw will not feature any Chileans. That concludes this week's newscast at I Love Chile TV. Join us next week for the top stories from Chile in English. To stay connected with us throughout the week, become a fan of our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Yeah, good good show. Yeah.